Good afternoon from Palm Desert, California. I'm LJ with Adventure Stop, and today we're at the Living Desert and Gardens. It's a great little zoo out here near the Coachella Valley. So if you're out in the area of Palm Springs, Indio, Indian Wells, Cathedral City, Rancho Mirage, be sure to check it out. Are you ready for today's animal adventure? Let's go. And just like the Santa Ana Zoo, this is a great smaller zoo that you can probably do in about two to three hours. So a little bigger than the Santa Ana Zoo. And it features desert animals of North America and of Africa. Walk like a striped zebra. Walk like a striped zebra. See what I mean, everyone? There's so many different animals here that you can just hang out and watch for as long as you like, or just kind of cruise on through, say, there's that, there's that, there's that, and then go home. You want to know how the Coachella Valley was formed, the natural sand dunes, and the weather elements? Well, pop over here to the Discovery Center where you can learn all about it. It's a great place that has infotational information. Yes, information and entertainment. But today, it was closed. So if you're a regular here at the Adventure Stop, you'll know that we recently took a trip to Orlando, Florida. So here I was on the Magical Express bus on the way to the Animal Kingdom Kidani Resort. And lo and behold, I look over and on a telephone pole, there was a bald eagle in Florida. It was crazy. I guess they're pretty regular there. But here in California, you can only find them at places like this, the Living Desert. 
coyotes like this one on the other hand are a pretty regular sight here in California. When I used to live in Irvine, they used to come by my apartment pretty often and you hear them at dusk and at dawn in their packs roaming about. Next, let's head into the aviary where I sure hope that creepy birds don't follow us. Whew, and we sure did survive that one. I don't know about you, but I'm a little creeped out by those birds that make eye contact with you and follow you. Aren't you? So if you're interested in finding more about the living desert and their hours and what they have to offer, check out this link down below. And obviously because it gets to be like 110 degrees out here in the summer, the summer hours are a little bit shorter and I think they close around 1.30 in the afternoon. Otherwise, we're heading into the fall season and very shortly here, their hours are going to be extended until 5 p.m. and they take their last admission at 4 p.m. As you can see, Kelly's doing a very, very good job here of showing you all uh, what we would like our giraffe to do with their feet. And that is to place it on that block, just like he's doing, and actually curl that foot over. On the way to the exit, be sure to check out the miniature train set that's been set up here with the diorama. It's really awesome for the kids. And take a look at that. The Wigwam Motel, which you can find off of the real Route 66 in Rialto, California, also the inspiration for Disney's California Adventure, Cozy Cone Motel. And I love this remodel of the new park exit. It actually forces you to go into the gift shop, which you can pick up your favorite souvenir if you like. Overall, the Living Desert is a great place to take the kids for a couple hours or if you're on an afternoon date and you'd like to get out and try something new. This is a great place to check out, guys. Hey, but you know what? Our adventure isn't over yet. Since you're in Palm Desert, we're going to check out one of Guy Fieri's favorite restaurants to get a burger called Grill a Burger. Are you ready to visit Flavortown? I am. Let's go. Welcome to the jungle, everyone. Gorilla Burger here was visited by Guy Fieri's in one of his episodes of Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. So today we're going to try out one of their delicious burgers. Today is National Cheeseburger Day and I'm having the Pancho Villa Burger and a side of chili cheese fries. But let me tell you, the amount of food was outrageous. They gave you so much. So the chili cheese fries were nice and melted. The chili, on the other hand, didn't have any beans, which is what I like, and the fries were rustic cut. The burger, on the other hand, just blew me away. The brioche bun was nice and toasted, and the patty had so much flavor and was nice and juicy. The fire roasted green chili had great flavor on it, and the avocado was super fresh and buttery tasting. This Triple D Burger you have to pay to play. It wasn't the cheapest, but the quality is definitely worth it. My meal with tax and tip ran around $30. That was with the unsweetened iced tea as well. All in all, a great day trip here to Palm Desert, California. And if you're on your way back to the Los Angeles area, be sure to stop in at the Cabazon Outlets to do a little shopping and to see the dinosaurs. But one last thing, be sure to tell them that Large Marge sent you, alright? Hey, I'm LJ with the Adventure Stop. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time, everyone. Bye.